Monday, May 1st, the year 2022. My name is John Molden, owner at Blood, Sweat & Tears Concrete. I'm here with my co-hosts, Magnus and Carly Molden. And this is... No Crying Concrete. Very, very good, guys. So, Magnus, what is the question we will be answering this week? Can I afford a concrete driveway? Yeah, very good, buddy. That's right. We'll be helping you decide if a concrete driveway will be right for you. Carly. Yes. Have you ever noticed the big ruts that uh, form out in Grandpa's driveway when it rains? Yes, I do recall seeing them. Yeah, they kind of come right around his palm tree there and and yeah. then Orville goes and fills them in once in a while with the skid loader. So maybe you have the same problem and you know it's time to make a move. You plan to stay in the house for at least 10 more years and you are completely done dealing with the washouts every time it rains. Magnus, what are the three types of driveways most people look to put in? Asphalt, pavers, and concrete. Asphalt, pavers, and concrete, that's right. It seems like those are the uh, three choices that most people go with. Um, and most people know kind of which one they want to start off with, but they don't know if they can afford it. Carly, how old are you? I'm 11. 11 and years old. I'll be 12 in December. Yeah, I suppose you will be. <laughs> it's a long ways away, isn't it? No. You know what's funny is that I'm 10 years that. flies right by. Isn't it? Well, for me it does. For you it probably is not quite the same way. Just take a look at each driveway type in 10 years and see what condition each of these three materials will be in. So let's start by looking at the asphalt option. Asphalt is the most affordable of the three and very tempting if longevity isn't your main concern. Asphalt is a widely used material. Parking lots, streets, runways, and driveways have all been made with the black stuff for decades. When a proper base is put down, concrete curb and gutter surround it, and the asphalt of a proper density is layered in an appropriate way, this stuff can be pretty dang awesome. Unfortunately, if you were to prep and place your driveway like a state highway, it would be the most expensive option of all. If you do go with an asphalt installer, your driveway will most likely receive pretty minimal ground prep, and one lift of asphalt, maybe two inches thick or so. This may work well for you, but it will need maintenance to keep it looking good. Magnus, what yes. kind of what kind of ma maintenance do you think people do on an asphalt driveway? Coat it. That's right. They have to coat it every so often, don't they? With yes. a, look at like a sealer. So at the 10-year point, you'll be coating your driveway on a pretty regular basis. You know, once a year or whatever. Each time you coat it, the price you paid, you know, technically kind of goes up, you know, with each one of those you do. It just gets stretched out over time. Um, and then the problem is when your new buyer comes in, if you're selling at that point, they're also going to have to factor in, you know, sealing the driveway every year for the next five to ten years. Carly? What's going to happen five to ten years after the home is sold to the new guy? The driveway might get replaced? Yeah, exactly. Uh, most likely, w getting that old up to 15, you know, to 20 years old, that driveway is going to need to be replaced. It'll be falling apart pretty badly by that point. Magnus, have you ever seen a driveway made with all pavers? Like the concrete pavers? Yes. Yeah. Do you like that look? You do. How about you, Carly? You like that look? Yeah, like when we did door hangers, there were several driveways that had the paver driveways. Yeah, they look good. They got they had a different color. It's a nice, it's a nice way to go. Yeah. So we have the pavers right there and on the bottom. Stuff we've got there. we've got some pavers here too, don't we? Yeah. And then over by the RV pad over there. Oh yeah. yeah. 
So pavers look nice. In time, the color may fade some. So, you know, I always say if the little bit of pavers we do, I would recommend going a little darker than you want them to end up, just so that if they do fade some, you're not disappointed. Um, either that or you could uh, put sealer on them and that'll keep them from fading as well. So in Arizona some companies are actually installing pavers for less money than they install concrete for. And honestly we we won't install pavers on driveways at all. We just we don't want to have to warranty that. Um, and we really hardly do any patios or sidewalks neither unless they're unless they're part of a bigger concrete project but uh, when we do it costs you know we charge more to do the pavers than concrete actually just, just, you know, because we're not that proficient at it so in the frozen Midwest pavers are the most expensive of the three options for one reason alone they are literally only as good as the base they sit on and you know, like in Minnesota, if you see a paver driveway or something, it probably has a concrete driveway poured low and then the paver set on top. So you can see why it would, would get uh, expensive. But now in Arizona, we don't have the harsh winter. We don't have the ground movement because of the frost. And, uh, you know, it's a lot more forgiving, but the base is still very important when it comes to pavers. Carly, how many times have you seen paver work with like areas that are sunken down in where the where the pavers are given way? I've seen it many times. Yeah. Like like a little bit over there on that yeah. patio we have. Yeah. There's some What uh some what do you suppose are a few things that could cause that? Rain wash out, settling yep. Yep. because the water line broke or Maybe even rodents. So how about the obvious dips in a paver driveway where vehicles have been driving? Have you ever seen that? Um, yeah. yeah. Like in the driveways at the houses where we reading door hangers. Yep, yep. Certain areas you'll see where they're just two kind of low tracks where the where Cars the vehicles have been driving, yep. So these are all basically issues with the base whether it's a, a base preparation problem or a problem with the base that happened after it was already down you know and and there's lots of that sort of thing that goes on with pavers so I guess the question is what will your paver driveway look like in 10 years will it help you to sell the property or will it hinder selling it you know um, the good news is you know you can have somebody come in lift those pavers up and relay them and of course that's going to come at more cost as well so, Magnus, what kind of driveways do we install? Concrete. That's it. Concrete driveways. Pretty simple, huh? Yep. We have lots of different uh, finishes we can offer, but they're all going to be concrete. Like exposed <laughs> aggregate? Yep, that'd be one of them. Yep, for sure. Like our driveway, stamped and exposed. or Yeah. You know, I mean, whatever. All sorts of things. But. Colored? That's my favorite, yeah. What we'll color in it? Pink concrete. Yep, seen lots of that. So concrete is gonna be your most expensive option for the most part in Arizona. The price you will pay for a concrete driveway can vary dramatically depending on the specifications. But uh you know you kinda get what you pay for. A five inch thick driveway with high PSI concrete and with proper reinforcing will last you for 50 years but it's definitely going to cost you. Carly, yes. do you remember Uncle Dude talking about how he ordered his new truck just like he wanted it? I do. It's not kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So a driveway can be kind of like ordering a new truck and adding options. You know, upgrading the engine from a gas to a diesel like he did is like going from a 4-inch thick driveway to a 5-inch thick driveway. You know, I mean, it's going to cost you more, but you got that. 
when you pick a higher grade leather interior in your truck it's like upgrading to a pristine grade finish from a standard grade finish. I think when, it would be cool to like basically be able to make your own truck. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we just went and found a truck that we thought was cool well, and we took it home, but <laughs> but yeah, we will do that next time. And then when you go for the peace of mind that an extended warranty gives you, it's like putting the rebar grid in and bump the concrete up from a 3,000 to a 4,000 PSI. It all costs money, but you get more if you pay more. That also drives, you know, bumps your driveway's warranty up to five years well, though, when you put those things in it. So, you know, you're, you're getting all that. So, Magnus. Yes? Have you ever seen Grandpa putting sealer on the concrete out in front of his shed? No. How about you, Carly? No, nope, not that I recall. No, ma mainly because he's never done any sealer on his driveway. He doesn't need to. <laughs> so one of the most appealing aspects of a regular gray concrete driveway is the maintenance. Or should I say the lack of maintenance because there's literally no maintenance whatsoever required. At least in Arizona. Maybe you want to spray it once in a while in Minnesota or something. But down here you're totally maintenance free. So concrete will crack. But if you use rebar, the cracks will stay very tight. At the 10 year mark, the driveway will be in its youth comparing to the quite geriatric asphalt. Is this a selling point that will bring the top dollar you're looking for? Maybe the question should be, can I afford not to have a concrete driveway? So you guys got any questions this week? We should probably do that next week. Next week's topic, can, can I afford not to have a concrete driveway? Yeah, that should be next week. <laughs> yeah, maybe so, huh? Focusing looks fine from here. Sorry about the focusing problem, guys. So Carly, you got any questions this week you're wondering about? Is asphalt like, I guess, Board, kind of similar to like exposed aggregate. No, it's it's different. It's um, it's got to be brought in hot so it can be workable, and they've they've got to lay it down with an asphalt. Well, yeah, because paving machine, and then they roll it down to compact it, like. Because I know. Because I know with like the exposed aggregate, you guys have to put the rocks on it afterward or whatever, right? No, no. You can do seated exposed, but for the most part you just wash the top off the exposed aggregate to expose what's you know, what's there. The rocks that are already there. The way we did it here, we did the seated exposed. We, we threw rocks into it first and then both loaded them in. So what did Paul say there? So concrete winds up being the cheapest in the long run. I don't know. I used to always tell people to divide it out over the 50-year lifespan of it. You know, to compare it. You know, if you um, end up having to have two asphalt driveways in that amount of time, you know, you're probably looking at uh, you know a similar cost in the long run. But, you know, you're not dealing with all the headaches that go along with it, with doing it twice, you know, so. So I, I can't, I can't say that for sure, but there's a possibility that that, that may be true. We got <laughs> down to four. It's up to you, buddy, don't worry about it. So, what, can pavers, like, if someone lays them right? Mm -hmm. Could someone do it, like, at home as long as they have the pavers? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, and a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. Tammy Mold and VST took out our pavers. Okay. But yeah, for sure, and a lot of people do. And, and that's where it's it's all about the prep work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the base underneath the pavers is everything, you know, so... Whoever's doing the prep work is, is going to determine the longevity of the pavers. I have a question. Go ahead, Lynn. 
So Uncle Doo's business is made more than concrete? Mold and concrete, correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Grandpa Downing started well, I think, that I think back in 1975. I'm pretty sure there's another question. Well, I would say concrete outlasts asphalt by far. Yep. Yeah, it's got easily, you know, I mean, it's got almost double the lifespan. I mean, in the street, where it's really layered properly with the density and everything it can it's probably not quite that much but on a driveway the way that they do driveways it's, it's probably really close to double are we ready to sign it off then guys yeah all right so thank you for taking the time to watch again this week. We will be back next Sunday from the backyard kitchen answering questions you didn't know you needed to ask about concrete. Remember, there's no crying in concrete other than the tears of joy brought about by a job well done. Very good, guys. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.